What an interesting dilemma. Yeah, that's these are the problems that need to be solved, right? The, we're, we're seeing it happen live. Uh, a police car in the US pulled over a Waymo because it did an illegal U-turn. And they tried ticketing the driver, but there wasn't one. So, and I didn't, don't think it had a passenger at the time either, but it did pull over when it got, you know, flagged by the police, couldn't interact with the vehicle at all and uh, struggled to ticket it. Um, and there was a bit of uh, a bit of backlash around, they should find the company and, and how does that work when there's no driver? How do you lose demerit points? Who's responsible for that? So it's a new world when you think about driverless vehicles. I, I also saw that coverage. The response basically was that it, regulatory changes are already in the works. It's things like the um, the operators being given a one to two minute window to be able to tell the car to change behaviour if it's in an area it's not allowed to be, or they have to have a 24/7 line uh, being manned so that if there are complaints or problems from law enforcement, that they can respond accordingly.